Okay, we're live. Um, so we're going to do a beach scene to start out with. And this is a 10 by 10 inch canvas. So I'm going to do a dirty pour of the sand and the beach. So just a moment. We might have to mix up some more of the warm buff. All right, we are. We're going to mix up some more of this warm buff color. So all I do when I mix up some paint is, and it's perfect when you're using these little craft paints. So this warm buff is a multi-surface paint from Alpha Barrel. And it works perfect to just take and right over the top and they sit right there just perfect. But when, when I've got plenty of time, I just set it aside and let it just drain for a little bit. But I'll try to make it hurry since I don't have as much time. But I'm going to do uh, two different dirty pours, two different cups. One the sand and then one the ocean. And I think I might even swipe a little bit of like um, sky in there as well. So. There we go. Now I'm going to get my flow trawl. So I'm going to go about two to three parts flow trawl to one part paint. All right. Closer to like three parts flow trawl is what I went for. With that multi-surface, that's what you usually do. So how's everyone doing today? All right. Can I give that a shake, 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 shake? Hey, Lena, Red Road Warriors, how are you doing? I'm going to do a beach scene. Just an abstract kind of beach. So there's some of the, it's just kind of a grayish tan, warm buff is called. A little bit darker brown. And then I am going to put one drop of treadmill oil right into the, our dirty pour cup. And I actually went for two drops. <laughs> hey, H7. Hey, Katie, how are you doing? How's everyone doing? So good, generous amount of that antique white. And then some more of that lighter, warm buff. All right, so there's our beach sand. We're going to actually set that aside. Now I'm going to pour some ocean color. How's everyone doing? How's everyone's week? How were you guys this weekend? How's your week starting off? So I am really short on white. So we're going to put just a little bit of white. Hoping to get some white soon. <laughs> All right. The Admiral Blue has the silicone in there. And I think I'm going to put a little bit of this sea foam. And I'm going to grab another blue here. Oh, H7, don't even get me started on student loans. I'm so, so excited for you. That is awesome. You have one last payment. I have huge problems with my student loans. Huge problems. So I should have about $14,000 worth of student loans left. Okay, that's doable. We, got, we knew that's what we have. That's what we're working with. And I stayed on top of it. And I have $14,000 worth of student loans. Well, we're supposed to get our tax return. Guess what happened to the whole tax return? 100% of the tax return, our lovely government decided to take. So I'm like, oh my gosh, why? I'm, I'm current on my student loan. Well, after doing some research, I have somehow someone I, it's some sort of mistake. I don't know what has happened, but they're telling me that I have 
my $14,000 in student loans, plus I have $49,000 in student loans, which I do not have $49,000 in student loans. So I'm going to do a beach. I mean, I'm going to do a um, uh, sky in this one. But um, so now I have to figure out. And I've tried to call. I've tried to figure this out. It's not as easy as you would think just to figure out where all these student loans are from, who took these student loans, because I don't have that much. And there's no way the like uh, um, interest or anything has become that much. So, yeah, we're kind of in a little bit of a pickle with that. Oh, and I dropped a drip. But so awesome. I did see Lena said she got her chicken coop all set up. And did you get, did you get a chicken? You made a video. I'll have to go check out the video. So this is a sky, guys. This is our sky. And I'm going to put a little bit of gray in the sky. I'm going to go ahead. The sky needs to have a little gray. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so... I am so upset <laughs> about that, about the student loans, because there is no way I have that much student loans and I don't get how there can be a mistake. Like, I don't get that. Yeah, super, super fishy. No, 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 no. I know. I'm, and why wouldn't it be if I have been in and they say, OK, you've been in default with these student loans to, since 2016. It's not on my credit report. They've never gotten a hold of me. I've talked to you know, I have I'm all current with my other student loans like something. It's got to be a mistake that can hopefully be very easily fixed. That's we're in the process of getting because the loan because we figured out who the lender was first or it's been sold. So now we the loan has been sold several times. So we're trying to track it back as it was sold to the original who the lender. So, yeah, it's a mess. <laughs> but anyways, I don't it's just a big mess. I, it has to be some sort of mistake and it has to be able to be fixed because there's no way. I mean, that's just weird. And so eight chickens. One more coming and two heritage palm turkeys. So. So, yeah, I am the student, but that is so exciting, so exciting to have one more student loan. That is a huge accomplishment, one more payment. Uh, that is such a huge accomplishment, and that is awesome, H7. I don't want to take away from what you were saying there with that. That is huge. So here's our ocean. Congratulations. So I did my ocean. Here's my horizon. And then I did my ocean because I'm going to do my beach kind of at a diagonal here. So, well, unfortunately, it's a college that is no longer in that is the student loan. So it seems like huge fraud. This college isn't even in. Uh, it's it's uh, shut down like online college. So weird hey your average girl how are you doing so i'm gonna do kind of a little bit of swiping through this and that gives kind of an ocean feel a little bit more and then after I put the beach, I'll put a little bit of white foam kind of almost. But I'm going to go ahead and bring this down. Oh, painting a ceiling. Awesome. Well, how fun. That's, I hate, that's no fun. <laughs> Good luck. 
And if you didn't hear me the last time I you, I had saw you in a chat room, I said, um, congratulations, your average girl. Congratulations. So I'm going to do a little bit more swiping here, too. And this is upside down to you guys. <laughs> so just to let you know, I'm sure you guys are used to that by now. I always, it's upside down to you guys. Push it up and then I'm going to push it back down. And my horizon just got messed up, but we can fix that. That's not a huge deal. You'll have a bit up eventually. All right. So I'm going to put a little bit of white here and kind of blow it like kind of sea foam up the beach and just a little bit, you know, like back here in the waves. So I'm going to get my handy dandy, there it is, uh, piece of the aquarium tubing. I need more white. More white. And that'll be almost all my white, really. <laughs> all right. Knocked over the gray, which did a domino effect. <laughs> Your husband paid almost 10 years for the Art Institute? Wow, yeah. There's a lot of really worthless degrees out there. But this is a worthless degree. I have my own worthless degree I'm paying on student loans. I got one of those too. But this is a youth useless degree I didn't even get. <laughs> so it's something weird fishy going on. But I got one of those fishy degrees that I'm paying on, too. I don't want to pay on another one. So I put a little bit of gray. I'm going to put a little bit of kind of like cloud looking here. And we're going to put a little bit more over in the sky. Oh, they finally got caught up. Yeah. I missed what Katie said she was going to apply for. That went too quickly. Oh, yeah. Grad school. I have cousins. I have a cousin who's getting her doctorate right now. That's going to be a big student loan. Kind of just putting clouds in the sky. Student loan forgiveness. Oh, I wish. I wish. That would be amazing. Let me get this back side here. But. So this is going to be somewhat of a shorter live stream today. Um, I'm just going to do a few. 
uh, I'm honestly not feeling all the best, but I'm not about to go to the doctor right now. So, <laughs> yeah, the degree should read. Um, I have a bunch of them on Etsy, but they're uh, $10 shipped or it's for the single ones, $12 for the double ones, but that's with shipping and everything. Uh, I have a whole bunch on my Etsy and I probably have another 20 to 30. So if you look on my Etsy and you don't see a color you like, just let me know. And uh, then on my... Um, I have other colors that I just haven't gotten gotten listed. I haven't gotten good photos and gotten them all listed and stuff. So if you don't see if it's if you look on Etsy and you don't see one that you like, just let me know. I might have another color, but they're uh, for singles ten and then twelve for doubles. So yes, uh, Lena Red Road Warriors, she just got one. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Lena. Thank you, ladies, because right now, all of Mike's jobs have canceled. Luckily, a good friend needs Mike to do a short job, but that's all he has right now for work. All of his jobs have canceled the last, like, week and for the next month. So we're desperately scrambling to get Mike more work with painting, but nobody wants an interior painting to come into their house right now. Interior painter. So I'm, I'm struggling what to do with this one, guys. Should I? I think I, I kind of don't like the whole, I lost my horizon. Should I bring it back up or just leave it? I almost think I might mess it up if I, but I've already started. So There we go. It looks a little more natural, at least. <laughs> hey, Mr. Doughboy, how are you doing? Yeah, just let me know. Check out with the hubby and let me know for sure. For sure. Everyone check out the Etsy shop and let me know. Uh, and I've got lots more I need to list in the Etsy shop so bad. All right, guys, I'm going to move this one out of the way. And um, then I think I'm going to do kind of like a field with some small, tiny little flowers. You'll see. I'll show you all. So I'm going to again do like kind of a sky and it'll look kind of upside down to you guys. Oh, and I wish I, I go to wipe something off, but I have paint on my hand and make it worse than it was. <laughs> <laughs> a windy day at the beach yes oh thank you thank you a geek pool huh <laughs> Mr. Nobody I don't know what that is so here's our sky I'm sure you're going to bring the sky down a little bit more And we'll put a little bit of dark in this sky and a little bit of gray. And then we're going to do like a green field and It's, I, I haven't done anything different, H7. I didn't move the, I'm just trying to pay attention to the chat more. <laughs> That's why I haven't painted as much. I've been looking at the chat. I still haven't moved it. I need to move it, the computer where the chat is better. 
but thank you. I'm I'm just trying more. <laughs> it's not easy to turn all the way around to look at the chat when you're painting, but it's my my silly placement of everything. So I guess that's what I get. <laughs> so there's our sky here. You just needed a giggle. All right. Well, I hope you got a giggle. Good. <laughs> Oh, you're trying to keep paint off the floor? Yeah, it's a good thing it's not oil-based. Oh, yes. All right, so now I'm going to put a variety of greens, but I'm going to just draw myself a little something. There. Okay, just a second. I'm going to do green, like, I'm going to try to do a river. We're going to see this. This is an experiment, guys. <laughs> We're going to do a few greens there. And a little bit darker greens. Yeah, I mean, definitely we're getting a lot of projects done around the house and stuff, but it's crazy how people are already, you know, here in Washington already canceling, you know, things like having contractors at their houses and things like that. Uh, all right, so I'm going to mix this in, and then I'm going to try to get some flowers in there, too. And I'm not going to go all the way up just yet. We're going to do that kind of last minute. So we're doing more like kind of finger painting today, I guess. Finger painting with fluid acrylics. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I there's so many I don't know. And we can't really talk about it because you know um the YouTube is uh demonetizing if you talk about it. So I, I have so much I could say about so much right now, but I can't. So be careful, don't say too much in the chat because so. Oh, the, the neighbor with the fire. Um, she is good, very good. Uh it's not near not bad at all. Oh hey, creations by baby doll. How are you doing? Yes, if that's what when you said you were painting, that was one of my first thoughts. If we weren't so far away, Mike could come paint it for you. <laughs> yep. He's going to go work for a friend um, that I've had since, well, elementary school. So that's cool. At least that's to, that's a small little something coming up. So. Now I'm going to get kind of a river going, guys. But I got to wipe all the green off my fingers because I don't want to cross contaminate. So, gracious by Dave, baby doll, we are just kind of finger painting today. We're experimenting and have fun. Yeah, let's not talk about that. Let's we'll change the subject, you average girl. I totally understand. It's a huge mess, and we'll talk about other things here. <laughs> yep. So let me get some 
this blue down. And we'll have to use, see if I can get a little bit more white out of my white, but I'm, I'm just about out. Yeah, a little bit more was fine. Yeah, we're doing pretty good here. Um, so kind of just dabbing, getting those colors, and then I'm going to push them to the edge, make it more of a river. And once this is dry, I can paint in like more of details and stuff. But I do have that one to show you guys today, the one we did on Friday and how it dried. It's not quite uh, ready for um, the next layer, but I'll show you guys how it's going. So we've been experimenting with painting um, a layer and then putting a flood of Floetrol. Hey, Amber, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. How you been? How's your part of the state? <laughs> All right. So I'll paint in more like rapids kind of detail, but not right now. Now I also want, I'm going to put a little tiny bit of some flowers just throughout the field. All right. Now, I'm wondering if we should just swipe, make these kind of just abstract or what? We're just experimenting. We're just kind of kind of make them. I'm just wiping my hands on my shirt. My shirt is crazy today with that one. I completely just wiped right off. Didn't mean to. <laughs> hey, Punchy Paints, how are you doing? Yeah, we're just kind of playing with in our paint today. We just did a beach scene. Now we're just kind of messing around with some abstracts seeing what we can do and it is upside down to you guys so it's almost like little miniature balloon smashes because my gloves are too big so they're not all the way on the end so it's like itty bitty little balloon smashes so yeah and then oh and I got rid of that one complete and I've noticed if you smash too hard you completely just bury it or pick it up all on your glove. So, yeah. Trying to use a clean finger each time. And then I wipe it all over my shirt. <laughs> And that one I did too. And I can paint in the details once it's all dry. I've been practicing more of that. Um, 
um, I'm looking for the right green. I think I want. So what is everybody else working on? Anybody got some new projects they're working on? Oh, your average girl, you got to get back at it. Fantabulous. Hey, that's my word. I say that all the time. You, you have a great day and good luck with your painting. All right. I am going to put just a little bit of this other green up here towards the horizon, like some trees and different stuff up here. If I can, just a second, let me punch a hole in it. See, if I forget to put the lids on, then they kind of dry up. <laughs> that was quick though, I just, since yesterday. Like itty bitty bitty blooms, little tiny balloon smash, finger smash blooms. <laughs> But the fun part is then taking and doing this all, figuring out um, the detail with a brush. I've been having a lot of fun with that, practicing a lot more with brush work. Fluid acrylic kind of swiped finger base and then working with uh, brushes for the rest of it. Little itty bitty bitty blooms. I wonder if we need like some itty bitty bitty yellow blooms. Just a few, but not as many as the red. Little itty bitty ones. Those ones you can barely really see on the camera. In uh, person, you can kind of see them a little bit more. I'll lift it up and show you in a minute. That red one was bothering me. <laughs> but I want another one there. Just like the hint of a flower, but not completely. Some purple ones, a few. See, and this one really comes out a little bit more. Everybody was thinking purple. Everybody's liking purple. Awesome. And that purple had silicone, so they looking they're looking a lot really nice actually. The color shift purple. Um, okay, well, I've done the color shift purple a couple of times. I have, which one? Let me see. Here is my color shift. I have, ooh, don't. I almost touched my butt on that other painting. Um, I have blue violet flash. Beautiful color. So I've used it in a couple of different colors. Slip cups. It, for me, I don't know if I'm not getting the ratio right, 
But with a flip cup, it just gets lost. Everything just kind of gets a shimmer and it gets lost. Now, I did some tree ring pours. Oh, it turned out beautiful. So I really think the color shift, it's all about the, um, like, uh, the, um, the technique, whichever technique you use. So what are, how are you doing your blooms? What are you, are you using all the secret ingredients and all that? I, I don't. I just do them with, with my regular old recipe. I don't put anything special, anything new in them. But I am thinking about soon, as soon as I can afford to, I might get some of that. Um, the wood conditioner. I would like to try using the wood conditioner. What was for bee fast? A banana. <laughs> That's what I had. And usually what I like to have, honestly, is a banana and some um, a, a spoonful of peanut butter. And I'll eat the banana and a little bit of peanut butter and the banana and a little bit of peanut butter. And I didn't have my peanut butter. I think that I need to have some peanut butter. <laughs> so I'm just getting this one moved, guys. Let me get this one. Here, I'll actually get it turned for you. And then I'll get it moved. Just a second. I'm just turning it. So if there's a horizon, that darker green, I'm going to paint those in with a more detail and you'll see they're kind of going to be like little brush and trees, little bushes. But um, thank you. Thank you. Mike had a spoonful of peanut butter. Burrito was her, was Miss Katie's breakfast. <laughs> so what did everyone have for breakfast? So Creation Spike Baby Doll is, let me read what she said. Just, just got some of the Sherwin-Williams and wood conditioner. Using the stuff you have for the rest. Yeah, I've been just using my regular old flow trawl and paint. And that's how I do my blooms. I'll do a bloom in just a second. But I want to show you guys real quick. Um, remember, this was the one we did on Friday. So what we're going to do on uh, this coming, this last Friday, we did the base. It's not quite dry enough to do a second layer on. So this coming Friday, are you getting a spoonful of peanut butter? Yeah. <laughs> I must have made Mike think about it because here he is in the kitchen getting a spoonful of peanut butter. H7 had a quesadilla. Nice. Yeah, I read it, Sherwin, Sherwin Williams. I knew exactly what you meant, Creations by Baby Doll. I read it as Sherwin Williams, too. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So this is our base layer. It's pretty much dry, but I'm not comfortable enough really manipulating on top of it. So on this coming Friday, it should be dry enough. And we'll put a flood of flow trawl. We'll put another layer of a little bit of flowers kind of second. Like it's going to be like a look of a field of flowers. So there'll be some shorter ones and then some even shorter ones. So um, we'll do that on Friday. But just saying, let me get that moved out of the way. But what we can do right now, if you want to, I'll show you what I mean by flooding it with flow trawl. So, okay, we got this lovely one on, and it's on a record. But look at it. It's. It's like the label kind of, you can see it through. And that's only happened to me on red, red ones. Ones that have a red label. So I want to do a little bit more of a layer of painting on it. So I've got just plain old Floetrol. crunchy peanut butter so what are you guys are you guys in the smooth peanut butter found like do you like smooth or do you like crunchy like for a um sandwich and stuff I like smooth but if you're just having like a spoonful with a banana I like crunchy so we actually have both we have smooth and peanut butter a string pull yes we're gonna do a string pull on that one on Friday on the bottom half of it Totally are. But I don't have any yarn or string right now to work on this one. 
But I'm gonna put a little bit of Floetrol down and the Floetrol dries clear. So that's the perfect, it dries clear and it works great for this. There's something on there. I'm glad I saw it and didn't bury it with paint. So what are you guys, smooth or crunchy? A uh, both, you're a both, okay, so am I. Yes, especially if the peanuts are extra toasty. For sure. I'm trying to just kind of get the whole center and then um, blow some uh, paint around. A little bit more purple. Okay. That's probably plenty. Oh, thank you, thank you, guys. Hit that like button, yes. Ooh, this is a little bit dry. I'm actually going to put that up. I was going to use a little bit of that, but I think I, I need to mess with it too much. <laughs> uh, where'd that? Oh, there it is. I'm like, where's the purple? I just had it. I think I need a little bit more of the flow trawl. And the flow trail dries dry. Um, whoa. I need a little more, but all the way around, not all right there. But that's okay. I can scoop it to where I need it to be. Perfect. I'm going to scoop just a little bit into a cup, guys. I do not want to waste any. Getting low on the flow trail. Don't want to waste any of that precious. Okay. Now we have it mainly centered in the middle and then it's all the way to the edge, but it's just like majority is in the center and then kind of feathered out. So when we blow it, it'll kind of even itself. But now we have a little bit in a cup set aside for the next one. So. There's some purple down. I'm going to get a little bit of this vivid violet. So you will see this um, still once it dries. All right. Did I say something funny? Should I look at, it's 43 minutes right now. Do I need to remember that? What did I say funny? I always say the silliest things that don't make any sense. Knocking too much stuff down with my boobs. Okay, so you can kind of see the shadow of the one before. peanut butter and I said something oh okay but see how um a lot of people are putting like wood conditioner paying really expensive to get flow trawl from um like Australia because they use a different uh different chemical makeup as our flow trawl and I'm not using anything in mine and I get some pretty awesome blooms but that's a second layer. So on Friday, I'll show you once all that flow trial has dried, you'll be able to see your one down below as well. Thank you. There's just one little area that's kind of bugging me. This petal just does not look natural how it goes out.
there. I mean, they don't all look, they're all pretty abstract, but that one's the most looking way abstract. <laughs> See, I always say weird things, H7, and that's why I rarely go back and watch because I can't stand to go back and watch because then I'm super critical and I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe I said that. I can't believe I said that. So yeah, I usually don't go back and watch. So, all right, so I'm going to move this one aside. But I am going to try to go live here um, in a few days again. Uh, but this is going to be the last one for today. So I think I'm about doing a sunset. Let me think. What colors? Let me get them all set out. We've got our... I kind of want to do... No, I'll do yellow. I was going to do some white, but I think I'll just do yellow. Reach for the darker yellow. <clears throat> so we're going to do a sunset and then I'm going to do black on the bottom more like a silhouette of mountains what we're going to do today. I don't think we have. We've tried to get the last little bit out of this one a couple of times. I don't know why I still, I need to take care of that and wash that up and get it. But I keep trying to every time, huh? So here's some light orange. Let's mix up a little bit of that. Perfect. I actually have a couple cups and the right there. Thank you. I'm not like super, super precise. Uh, craft paint, I go, that was probably about uh, two and a half, like one tire, one part paint to about two and a half parts flow trawl. And I do know that's gonna need just a little bit of water. <clears throat> and we'll put a little bit of silicone in that one. So the treadmill oil which is 100% silicone, two tiny, tiny drops. Uh, this Saturday, I'll be talking more about how like less, less silicone is, you know, more, it really a little bit of silicone goes a long ways. You don't need a ton. Really try to go a little bit on your silicone. All right, now some tropical orange. And then we're going to go up into more of the, um, that one's not working, this one will work. More of the blues right away. We're not going to go so much into the purples. And I want, yeah, just a little bit of this darker orange. Now we're going to go back to our finger painting. And I'll get the edges even better when I end the stream. I always check the edges afterwards. 
because it's hard to see back behind there. All right, now I'm gonna wipe my hands off to kind of transition more into the oranges. This glove is too big, <laughs> is my problem. <laughs> And then I'll get back up there and blend that just a tiny, not too much though. I don't really want it to like blend, blend. You're pretty good at paint by number. Awesome. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, I haven't done a paint by number in years. I think it would be kind of fun to do one. See, you know, where I'm at and stuff. It'd be kind of fun. So... And I was just looking, checking it all out. Not bragging or anything. Oh, no, of course not. Of course not. Yes. No. <laughs> awesome. I really kind of want to there we go and I'll, I'll still mess with it for a while <laughs> kind of play with this area and that area <laughs> And this also, you can uh, like do other stuff with the black, do other silicone with the brushwork later and put like some trees or it's real fun to add some more black silhouettes in later once it's dried. Just a second. So what are y'all doing today? So just a second, I'll get that turned around for you guys. But this is the last one I'm doing for today. Of course, we'll be back live on Friday. And on Friday, you guys can pick the colors. So let me push this stuff out. Whoa, push it out of the way without making a mess. Let's see if we can do that. <laughs> Black's always fun to work with. <laughs> I'm getting it everywhere. <laughs> Oh, we're going to talk to authorities about dispensary fraud. Is this a new new one or the same thing from before the sale that they said they had a sale, but it wasn't really? Hey, Roger, how are you doing? Let me turn this one around for you guys. Catch me just before I was getting off of here, Roger. Awesome. How are you doing? How 
I'll work on the getting the back a little bit covered, this um, back edge. All right. I'm good too. I'm good. People be it same thing. Okay, yeah. People low lifes. Uh, that's too bad. That's too bad. That's terrible. Well, I hope you're able to get a resolution and figure that out. Just helping the sides, guys. But this is my last one for today. We did a beach scene. We did kind of a river with a field of uh, plants behind it. We did the second layer on a flower. What else did we do? So a couple of good ones. Oh, thank you. And you all make me smile. See, that's awesome. Sometimes H7, when you're new to an area, it's just finding the right one. Just finding the right one. So that's so awesome to hear you have. At least you can uh, not have to deal with the one you were having issues with. And you found a good one. Yes. Always have to look for that silver lining for sure. Yes. All right. Does so anybody have any questions for me or anything? Um, and then we'll be back on Friday at uh, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And on Fridays, the chat gets to pick the colors. So, and besides, the only piece the chat probably won't pick that I'm going to just work on will be the second layer for this one. When I put on the second layer on this one, I'll just do that. I'll probably start with that one on Friday. But I've been loving these sunsets. They're so much fun. So, yeah, guys, just try to stay calm and have a good time and, you know, stay positive. That's all we can do. Yep, there's always a reason why things happen the way they do. I am a huge believer in that. And I know some people don't. There is air bubbles in our sun. We cannot have air bubbles in our sun. So, all right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. You guys are all so awesome. And I am going to go ahead and get off of here. But I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I just, I'm so thankful for all of you. So, all right, guys, you have a good one. And and as much as always, really, really take this one to heart. Be the change you want to see in the world, especially right now, especially right now. Be the change you want to see in the world, guys. All right, much love, everyone. Have a good one. Thank you, thank you.